did J&J do this because of litigation? Um, I, you, you know, that speculation is going to have to happen, Tom, right? Because it's, they, they, it's been years that they've been asked, why don't you split the company up? And so suddenly now. So you're going to have to speculate about that. But honestly, I don't really care. This is the right thing to do, and I'm glad they're doing it. This business has no synergies really between uh, shampoo and getting drugs, that, that high-tech drugs mm -hmm. that treat difficult cancers. So it never was, mm -hmm. uh, should have been together, But and I'm glad just they're doing it. And now you can see the results right. in the share price. Do you imagine that this will go across all of global and Western pharmaceutical, including troubled companies like Glaxo? Well, that's already happened, right? Glaxo's already decided that they're going to get uh, the two companies split. Yep. And uh, Glaxo doesn't have any more to do after that. J&J, &J, my biggest question now is, why not go that last step and, and move out of medical devices? Put that into a separate company, too. Sam, why now? Uh, if, you know, as I said, I'm really happy that they're doing it. Maybe it's to do with that issue of the... Um, of the um, litigation, but honestly, each of these businesses is now definitely big enough to be uh, very significant players. Not just particularly that litigation issue, but also the idea that Johnson & Johnson had the inferior shot to combat COVID, the idea that its inoculation was not as successful as the others from Moderna uh, and Pfizer. How much does mRNA development, the idea of trying to get on the cutting edge of biopharmaceuticals, part of this? as well. Yeah, I, I really don't think they're related. I mean, the J&J the, the vaccine, the reason that it's not showing the same level of efficacy is simply because it's a single shot. Everybody thought, talked about it. It was the right thing to do perhaps at the time for them. Get this vaccine out, single shot, prevent as many deaths and hospitalizations as possible. But you just can't get away with one. It, it looks like you can't even just get away with just two. Mm. So um, that, that I don't think has anything, a, a lot to do with this. And I'm looking forward to seeing more information from them as they develop their vaccine platform. Sam, the romance of the business, either consumer or frankly, the research combine of pharmaceutical, it's all drifted away into a modern competitive world. When does Amazon show up to do the distribution, frankly, of all three divisions? Yeah, I mean, look, um, I think for the uh, prescription level pharmaceuticals, it's going to be still quite difficult, especially okay. that you need the physician to be there. But Amazon's already there. I buy my acid reflux tablets off Amazon because it's the cheapest. So uh, as soon as you go to see, I think that's definitely some, uh, a, a right. company that you can get together well, with. Sam, if, if, if Lisa bothers me, do I have to take acid reflux tablets? Is that what you're prescribing? <laughs> you haven't God. yet? Is hope, that what you're saying? I hope you never have to do that, Tom. <laughs> Sam, just a, just a final question to tie things together. How important is this breakup, either as a harbinger of what's to come and similar types of companies or a statement on the nature of this industry? Yeah, you know what? I think, Lisa, they, 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 they've probably been pushed just up one, one last step by their shareholders. Say, look, if Glaxo can do it, why can't you do it? Why don't you split this $450 billion behemoth into the segments where you will get value add? There's no question because that's exactly what the share price is telling you today. So these set businesses should be separate. I think they're probably the last one to do it. Maybe Sanofi, but they're, they're small compared to these guys, given the $14.5 billion of sales for consumer this year expectations. Uh, so I, I'm really glad they're doing it now, but they're, they're really at the kind of end of the queue now.